let's party started. Go live, go live, and go live. Okay. Okay, awesome guys. Thanks for being here. Let's get this party started. Oh, me yeah, did that. Oh, great. Okay, so this didn't start off too well. Looks like the um, looks like the Vilta has uh, died. The battery's died already. I'm gonna put it on. No, it's not gonna stay. Will it? There we go. <clears throat> Technical difficulties before you even start. That that be the problem. I didn't realize that. Um, these things, you can't really change out the battery. They're, they're, once they're dead, they're dead. So now, a wireless system has become a wired system. Okay, let's get that in. The battery does not last as long as it used to, so I charged it just the other day, so I thought it was gonna be okay today. But I was wrong, I was wrong again. There we go. We're back. Sorry for the jerkiness there. We will not talk about the elephant in the room today, which is uh, Twitter. We will not talk about that just yet. I'll talk about that later in real flight. Today I have a bunch of updates um, regarding all kinds of stuff. So let me start real quick by giving a nice announcement. Um, she has been having all kinds of uh, errors with her... Um, brain connection and all that stuff when she goes, let's see, when, let's start her up real quick. So I've spoken to the company and the company has been nice enough to say, well, <clears throat> since she is still under warranty, um, we'll take her back and we'll fix her up and possibly even give me a brand new one altogether. So um, that is a really big, big update for um, for the channel because you know, I need her to be fully functional. I need to be able to um, turn her into a little actress and also help me out with the show. So um, that I thought was really cool by the company. I need all, I need all, um, awesome. And so we'll, we'll get her up and running and uh, hopefully she'll work the way that she I was always supposed to. I was born in Shenzhen, but now I live in urban California. There we go. Anyhow, <clears throat> lots of other updates coming uh, to the channel. There's a lot of projects that I left on the back burner. And um, my glow plane, uh, my first RC glow in the dark plane um, had to go on the back burner. My buddy Steve has uh, his own drone that he's working on. Hopefully that, that'll come back to the channel. There is a trike that he was working on. I'm not sure what happened with that. Which ones? Which ones? Um, lots of different projects. Sometimes I call her Emma, sometimes she calls herself, what's your name? I don't know. She'll be back and up and running, as I said before. But this here was a drift kit that I that I put together. And it is fantastic. It's got blingy new uh, oh, wheels. Not to force off. The um, is not enough, but one of the issues that I ran into is I, I bought this new receiver that you see right here. And this here receiver is the one that you need to connect to this smaller and cooler remote. I have another one that's really big, um, but this is my favorite one. So I bought that receiver so that I could run this, but I'm gonna show you what happens in a second when I turn it all on and uh, it is quite annoying. I never knew I had a not a force network. What is on the brain is not enough friends. Let's Let see if, not, not sure if this is gonna be able to show on there. Maybe I need a little box. Get a box real quick. Okay, maybe it'll work on here. You guys can see. This will elevate it a little bit. Yeah, that should work a little better. So um, the problem that's going on with this vehicle now is you turn on the re remote control, you turn on the receiver, everything is running correctly. But as you can see here, the throttle is not working at all up here, the throttle. Nothing that happens on this side works. On the other hand, if I lift this up, 
You go left and right, you will get... So, left and right is forward and back, and then forward and back is turning. So, I mean, I don't know. That's why this hasn't been... Because, uh, you know, if I was going to try to drive it the way that it is, it would be a big brain twister, and it, I just would not be able to drive it very well. So it works, but um, not the way that I need it to. So that's why this project has not come back to the channel yet. I'm still trying to fix that up. Um, so that one is out of the way. I've explained that. Dump the box out of the way. And let's bring back Red Cat Racing. Red Cat Racing is doing very well. I've done a lot of work on it. So now it is as bleedy as it should be. And um, whenever I take that Hubson Zeni, Zeno Mini SE, it can track it because it's so shiny um, that even on a poorly lit day, you get enough light. And so it, it detects this. So this is, this is working well. We'll get that up and running. I've got the remote for it. The only thing that often I'm, struggle, I'm struggling with is on the inside, I'm gonna take off the body real, real quick. So you guys can see. Is this thing has leads, these things here. And these things here don't always connect very well to the battery. Now I've got a battery here. I will remove it off of the drift car and bring it over here. So you guys can see. I am in my 40s, in my 40s. An old old dude all right so let's go here um we'll turn on the remote first as you should always do so that the car doesn't accidentally pick up another signal and then just drive away and it should run describe your surroundings to me we are in a kitchen <laughs> you'll see lots of tiles a cool poster in the back or backdrop and lots of kitcheny things. Okay, so as you can see, I stuck the leads in. Sorry. It made a sound, but it does not really function. And the reason is something going on in here. Um, unlike the other one that I just saw, uh, showed you guys the drift kit, that just automatically pins together and it's all hunky dory. With this one, it does not seem to do the same thing. And I'm pretty sure that the leads on here, not so much the ones on the battery because the battery works well over there, are having some struggles. So, so all I can think of doing is either adding some, oh, some metal in there or possibly um, moving this a little bit. Now you have to be really careful because if you do this and you can't, don't try this at home, kids. If you do this wrong, you will just destroy the piece of metal in there. And um, once that's destroyed, it's not going to work at all. So another idea is to I use a paper clip and, and, uh, and then try to extend the leads so that the connection works better. I think I have one of those. But as you can see, this thing here, you turn it off. There's this little bit there, you turn it off. I turn it back on, it made the sound, but it doesn't keep the sound running. So then when you give it throttle or you try to turn, it just gets nothing. So I'm gonna see if I can get a little paper clip and see if I can fix it. I tried glue, gluing it, that didn't work. I mean, it worked for a little while and then it stopped working. Um, so that was not the best solution to the problems that we're having. I was thinking maybe if we create a little thing inside again, kids don't try anything that I try on the channel. It is dangerous, potentially could, could do something that, um, that is not ideal. So let's just put it in those terms, not ideal. I'm going to try to yeah, that always flies away when you do that. 
Um, I could try to put one of these in here on the side or something to extend. Oh, the network is not to force off. The brain is not I don't know if this is going to work, guys. So it's very hit and miss. Very hit and miss. So if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But if it works, then maybe it's a temporary solution that we could use instead of, because I don't, I do not have a, um, what do you call, a spare set of these that I could just cut the wires and stick another one in. So, well, that seemed to have worked. So that was probably the problem. It's just something's going on with the leads in there and um, they're just not reaching far enough into the other uh, connector for the battery. And so then, oh, but look, we lost it again. Oh, it came back. So I don't I don't know. This is a little bit faulty. This this thing here. I would have to change it out in order for it to be like really rocks rock solid. Um, but this seems to have kind of improved at least one of the sides of the leads. I'll turn it off and turn it back on. See if it. No. Turn it off. Turn it back on. You see, you always have to sort of press it in. Now it. It's got it, but you know, like, this is really not the best. You know, it's not rock solid like you saw on the little drift car. That just works. No matter what well, you do, it just works. What does this refer to? Um, we could try to do the same thing on the other side of the battery lead and see if that improves anything. Because we've got one side done. Maybe if we do the other side. Uh, it could be that at the factory they just had it... Um, it just could be that at the factory, they just get rid of that one and use, the, use a, new, a new one because you want to... sure he could. We want the shorter, shorter bit here, not the longer bit. And uh, maybe I'll just cut it on top of the trash can here. Okay, this time it didn't go flying, which is, which is a good... It's good for a change. It's good for a change. Again, this is very dangerous because... Since these are coming out more now, if, if one of those uh, went together and they contacted each other, um, made contact with each other, they could create a short and you don't want, you don't want that. So again, this is like a temporary measure. Um, temporary measure that might do something positive for us, but that I can't recommend as a final or um, final solution for, for the problem because it's just not going to be and I might have to cut a little bit more off these things now because these are coming out way too much comparative, compared to the other ones so phasers activated phasers activated feels like we're in a Star Trek or some kind of episode or Hey, do you like Star Trek, Emma? Anyway, um, let's see if this works. I've got to line them up just right. Yeah, I don't think that they're working as well in the second part. The first part was okay. It's on on. Yeah, we've, we've realized that, Emma, that there's something wrong with your network. That's why the company is being nice and helping us out here. So this definitely does something good. Uh, we'll bring it out to the park or wherever, um, to the lake, and we'll do some more stuff. And hopefully it'll work as it should. And if it does good, because at least it, it sort of fixed it enough that um, these battery leads won't, won't do too poorly but as you can see here if i turn it off let's see turn it back on oh, oh okay this time it just this time it just went so again this is a temporary solution guys uh, don't try this at home i cannot stress this enough this could cause some issues 
you could break the other side of the lead. So maybe it won't work well with your other vehicles. So it's something that I'm having to do here um, to show you that it might work, but it's not an ideal solution. So anyway, I'm glad that that fixed it at least temporarily so that we can go out and shoot some more videos of this. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some nice videos this time and not have to constantly worry about the thing disengaging um, while we're at the field. So that'll be something, something cool, something cool maybe. So that was one of the other projects. I really like how this body turned out. Um, it is very blingy. And uh, well, if you see this, it will be very recognizable. I don't think there's a lot of other Everest. I think it's an Everest 10. Yeah, it says Everest 10 on the what? side here. What? Everest 10, like the mountain, but the mountain doesn't have a 10 attached to it. There we go. So that was that. Can't wait to bring this out there on the, uh, to the field so you guys can, can enjoy some more of those um, shots from the sky and the beautiful lake where we live at here in Irvine, here in Irvine. So then... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Mr. Wang must have must have reset her memory. That is interesting. Okay, cool. So here, this is the Aero Scout, and take a look at that bling. This is this is finally what it was always supposed to look like. It's got it's got gold on the bottom. You don't and then on the top, it's got some, it's got some nice gray there. Uh, it is, it is now going to be very recognizable. And if I decide at some point that I want to uh, learn how to do flips and rolls in real life, I can do flips and rolls now on a simulator. But in real life, it's somewhat more daunting <laughs> to uh, attempt those maneuvers. So. We'll just see how that turns out. But for now, at the very least, we've had to change out the leads on this too because that was having an issue. So now we have a new connector here. This is not the Horizon Hobby or Spectrum battery, unfortunately. I wanted to do that. I wanted to go full on Horizon Hobby, Hobby Zone, and all that good stuff with their Rock solid is a little. I suppose that makes sense. system, but Sadly, we did not able to do that because the battery that came with the product was faulty. Again, I'm not saying that the one that you're going to receive is, but I'm just really unlucky. So mine came possibly defective. There is no ba battery checker that comes with the system, so and I don't have one, um, so I can't check if it's good or not. This thing here, uh, the batteries that I'm came not with so it. Sure, if I would like to do that because of that IT came. Okay. I, I respect your decision, um, Emma. Anyway, so here, uh, the batteries that came with this are almost dead, and uh, their purpose, I'll show you which batteries they are. Their purpose has just been to troubleshoot the, um, the plane, and I got to do one taxi um, trial. And uh, now it says it, they've got like two bars left. So it's fine for this um, for this test, but I would not recommend you fly with that low battery on probably just if you've got rechargeable batteries, which we do. Sometimes I'll use these EBLs. Sometimes I'll use the ones that come from Amazon. I love those blue ones from, from Amazon, but also from Costco sells them sometimes. Those are really good. Those are my favorite. Or the Amazon batteries themselves that are sponsored by Amazon. I like those too. Anywho, uh, anywho, uh, let's try this real quick to see if it runs. We first, of course, turn this on. And we'll just stick this in. Last time we, we got it to, to run for a little bit. Oh, look, the lead came out. That is not going to help. I've got to glue these in or at least um, maybe solder these in properly so they don't come out. Come on. Let's see. Um, 
sticking it in there. I don't know if the battery just died on me. No, come on. Don't do this. I was all excited just the other day because I had this running. So I was like, yay, we have this running. Oh, unplug, replug. Let's try it again. Maybe it's the safety feature. I probably have to charge this battery. Come on, man. Yeah, you, I mean, there we go. So as you can see here, I have to be very careful with this, but it is running. We need to, of course, bring the lead back through the, the, the system here into the front and then make sure the battery is well strapped in before we fly. Uh, but we do have a light that turned on in here. We do not have throttle on because throttle cut is on. When this is up, throttle cut is on. You got to do this and then that will engage the motor. And let's see if you guys can see it on camera. We've got motors, so that is awesome. Then uh, we also have here the... Whoa, okay, that's bad. Left and right, we need to change the... I don't know if it's that or something. Uh, right now, it, the turning is not very good on left and right. I don't know if it's because it's unsafe, it's in whatever. I'll have to figure out what, what to do with that. Oh, right now, the, the landing gear is not even moving if you do that. So don't do that. So anyway, I've got to figure out all the controls, study all the, the booklet properly. And then since now we finally have motor control again, maybe we'll just, we'll just take it to the field and we will attempt a flight. Again, all of this will be happening only if I get that lead connected because the last thing that you want is to be flying. Knocking into, like, let's say, something on the way up and then suddenly lose control of the plane and stuff like that. Which is why I wanted to, to fly this stock. I never, ever wanted this to be something that I had to, like... You know, ready to fly kits, ready to fly kits. RT, RTF kit. So everything is supposed to just work. Again, I'm sure that a lot of people will be lucky enough that they will buy the ready to fly kit and it will be perfect from the factory. It was not the case for me. I control the plane. So you control the plane, Emma. That's cool. How was, how was yours? Did, did yours? Did yours fly? Emma, did yours fly well? How was your plane? Okay, so we've gone through... Um, oh, the network is not to four stops. Yeah. Not okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, luckily this is all going to be uh, changing soon. We were able to get the um, company to help us out. And um, so I'm going to send them a early thank you for doing that because we're going to have... We're going to have a whole whole new Emma that will work, hopefully this time. What specifically brings not a force on the train? And uh, that's going to be awesome. But in the meantime, I want to end this live real quick, um, showing you guys this. This here is a Supra, a Supra shell for RC cars that I developed together uh, with a friend a while ago uh, with this really cool artist. Um, I think this project was actually developed by multiple artists. One, um, I had the idea for the kind of shell and shape uh, for this Supra. And um, I found an artist that was really helpful and then designed this in, um, in 3D. Oh, and then I had a second artist help me out later on because is enough, this is not only is this 3D printable, but is 3D printable in parts. Not sure how well it shows, but if you look closely, you will see puzzle pieces in here. If you see the puzzle pieces. Um, so basically, you could you could buy this, not buy this, you could um, oh, download this and uh, 3D print it in, I don't remember how many pieces, it's a lot of pieces. Definitely more than 
20 pieces uh, that you could uh, 3D print separately and then assemble later on. In this particular case, I did this, I printed this out on the AlphaWise uh, U30, U20, the, the smaller one, the smaller one. And uh, it did a really good job. And I uh, 3D printed it all as one piece, as you can see here, and it came out really well. Then, of course, later on, I painted it um, so that you could tell the difference between windows uh, and all that stuff. And in the back, I wrote, very messily, Toyota. Anyway, um, I think that this came out really well. And I uh, 3D printed it a long time ago before I gave away my 3D printer. So um, I will not be printing these out. But if you guys are interested in doing this yourself, you've got a 3D printer and you want to create this for yourself, change the, sh uh, the shape and the, sh and the size to match any of your mini RC cars or even the larger ones, um, you could do this, you could blow this up large and uh, it could fit on something like a 10 scale RC car like this if you wanted to. Um, and the cool thing about this is no matter what printer you have, you can make the parts and so long as the parts are large enough, um, you, if, you, if you print these three parts large enough, you can calculate how much they should be in order to fit over a 10 scale or an 8 scale or a 5 scale. Now, no matter how big your RC car, you can still 3D print this as parts and then assemble them later. So if your 3D printer's volume um, of the build plate is small, you could still do it, which is why I created this. The whole idea behind it was um, in the engineering process and all that. That's what I had in mind. And then um, not many people... <laughs> cared about enough to, to try it. I've even asked um, a few people that I knew with 3D printers if they wanted to collaborate on this. And again, if, if you guys know anybody who would want to, I could send you guys the free, um, the free model and you could try it out for yourselves. And um, that's just some, something that I'm putting out there for anybody who wants to participate in this channel and stuff. I do this all the time. Um, Sorry. But not a lot of people have the, the guts, the stones to participate. So anyway, there we go, guys. I wanted to finish off this live here with this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this quick live stream. I've tried to help out so you guys could see different ways. Um, again, kids, don't try this at home. If you are an expert or whatever, you probably already know all this information and you've probably done similar stuff. But... This is just something that I'm showing you that um, some solutions that I'm trying out to see if they run. And again, I'm willing to take the risk for them not working and destroying my planes Your and cars, goes. but you might not want to do this. So, all right, guys, um, very soon I'm going to jump into, whoa. Oh, <laughs> if you forget this on, it'll do that. I had no idea. Anyway, let's put all the uh, things back in position. Again, um, guys, if you guys didn't know this, oh, the network is not to force I complained about the spectrum batteries. Plan. Okay, fine. I'm not going to complain about this. This is an awesome remote. Um, I do real flight using this pretty much the same remote, and it is very cool. So I, I'm going to say good things about this because I love it. Um, if you guys join me later on, I'm going to do uh, just a few minutes. I'm going to go on to Real Flight. But it's just going to be on YouTube because it's hard to do this. And uh, with the four different lives running at the same time. Simply because it'd be hard to aim all of those screens onto that. So I just do that on one screen here. But anyway, Spectrum makes amazing um, remotes. I love this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love the safe and whatever. That's part of the reason why I didn't want to mess with the ready to fly kit with the um, Horizon Hobby plane. Because I don't want to just put in my own electronics. Which, this like this one, may or may not work unless you know what you're doing. Which I obviously don't because I can't get this to do it what I want it to do. So anyway, um, just putting that out there. Again, these batteries, really cool. Um... I also bought from the same company um, the there's like this little bag that you can put these in. So if these these things were to catch fire or blow up, they're in the bag. 
your house is still safe. Unless you know what you're doing, which he obviously so. do not because he could not get this can. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, whatever she said. Listen to her. She knows what she's talking about. Uh, anyway, so there we go. I'm going to turn off the... Whoa, it's not turning off. Do you press it once and press it twice? Right now, it's not turning off. So I'm going to do the... Uh, this is what is called the Neanderthal, the Neanderthal method, which is just, you just take one of the batteries out and it turns off. There we go. There we go. Anyway, if this thing is not turned off, it is very cool that it's got a little um, beeper in it that tells you, watch out, you're just gonna drain out all the batteries. Don't just leave me unattended. There we go, um, lovely people out there. Thank you so much for joining me on this live. I plan to do uh, many more of these as things progress. And I'm really hopeful, you know, holding, uh, touching wood, touching uh, metal, whatever it is that <clears throat> you do in your culture. Hopefully, we'll be able to have these vehicles up and running and do more. Um, that seems a bit negative. Okay, then let me think over your offer. Uh, I'm not sure that I, that I, um, that I had an offer for you, but um, <laughs> robots, robots, anyway. So yeah, thanks again for everything, guys. Uh, really appreciate you guys showing up. It was kind of strange that I got a thing from uh, TikTok today. I just turned on the phone. It says, we have a special offer for you to Does get. It, make sense? It, it, it did make sense until it said that the uh, offer was expired. So I put that on TikTok. You guys can go watch that video if you want. And I will see you all in real flight should you want to jump over to YouTube. But in, in, in case you don't want to, I will see you in the next live on here. So take care, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. Let's see. That worked for once. Let's see. Quick broadcast on there. And one more with the left hand. There we go. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Um, that was the end of the live here. If you guys are still Sorry, here on YouTube, wrong with my network. whether you're here or not, I don't know that the stats are always what they are. We're going to have to cradle that, you, that YouTube algorithm, change it snappy, and uh, do whatever we do to make it worthwhile. Anyway, um, <clears throat> all snark aside, let's go through the good results that we got from the other platforms that were very helpful again guys if you didn't know um you can run uh, multiple live streams and do something like this and if you are a small Sorry, channel there is something wrong with my network um this will definitely improve your chances of uh being noticed out there so that's something that i highly recommend uh if you guys want to get noticed uh youtube is not <laughs> Again, I always explain this, and it is very true. Um, YouTube fame is not a thing, but the hate is. What does this refer to? So um, if you want to get more people to check out your stuff, what you do is you, you run these quad lives, and you will definitely get more um, attention. So anyway, there we go. Just doing these videos, as you guys know, to help as many people out there as I can, and if I can put a smile on somebody's face, that always improves the quality of my day. So anyway, checking, stand by. There we go. So what we've got here is about 292 people came and watched the thing. 169 over there, which reminds me, have you voted on Prop 69? I hope you have, and I hope it's on the ballot soon. And then, uh, let's see, on this one is 605 awesome oh, people showed up to say to hello. The brain is not enough friends. We're going to turn off Emma because Emma has been wild today and um, not connecting to the uh, network. But again, I'm going to thank I Need All for helping us out. And very soon we are going to have a cool, a cool thing going on with a new a new Emma, or we're going to call her something else. We'll see. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to say goodbye to all the awesome channels in the back. Always provide so much 
entertainment. And uh, as of late, if you guys have not seen, um, Top Gear is on Netflix, if you haven't seen that. And they have some really fun new episodes uh, that were really, really hilarious. So I thought that was really fun and wanted to share that with you. And so with that, we're going to say goodbye to our um, sponsors. We've got the Domi Soul, as I said before. We've got Aini Doll that we talked about. Um, Color Farm. Uh, we've got Shongmei and Excellent. So with that all said, um, as your local Google guide here from Irvine, California, Woodbridge, I will say peace out. Thank you. And join me on Real Flight should you want to.